Hi there, I'm Rachel Nichols. I'm here in beautiful Bergen for the next seven weeks to do Fidelio by Beethoven. My character is Leonora. Leonora's husband has been imprisoned for something that he didn't do. And Leonora decides that she's going to go and she's going to search for him until she finds him and she's going to free him and kill the guy who tried to lock him up. We are working very, in a very detailed way with Oscar Oscosanovas, as I had hoped. Um, he's really a theatre director, and that's very obvious when we work in the rehearsal room, because he wants to get into the very small details, and just the way that little things and the way that you say something can really bring out the colours of the mood and of the development of your character. Leonora is a very difficult part to play because most of the time she is hiding what she feels. And so that can be, it can be very difficult because the audience needs to see how she really feels, but the other characters on the stage, it's almost like she's a spy. She has to be pretending all the time that she is somebody she isn't and that she is feeling different things to how she's feeling. So it's a real challenge, but I think we're getting somewhere with that now. We, we had a tough couple of days where it just wasn't working quite how he wanted and now I think we've found a way through which is really good. When Leonora disguises herself as a man, she doesn't just put on the male clothing, she has to take on a whole male physicality. And it's almost as if she deliberately chooses the really difficult, hard jobs to do, to kind of make herself more masculine and to make more of a hard-working impression on Rocco, her boss. And then the interesting thing is when she is on her own, how she can let that go and she can really become the woman that she actually is. She's a strong woman, but she's a very feminine woman, I think. And, yeah, it's getting the contrast between those two things. And there's little things that you do with your body that, that try, we try to make that work for the audience and work for me as, as a person, because I need to have a cohesive journey all the way through the opera. Beethoven did a great job at being very dramatic in this piece. A lot of the music is very loud, but then he comes, he really takes the colour right down and he had this very, very gentle, beautiful, lyrical passages as well to reflect how the characters are feeling. And sometimes it's almost as if he's reflecting their inner thoughts, even if they're saying something else. For example, when Leonor is lying. The, the hardest bit is the end duet with Florestan because my text is very, very difficult to pronounce at the pitch that I've been given to sing it. It's very, very high and uh, sopranos have, have a problem when it's very, very high to get the words to be clear. 
So it's kind of, to me, it seems like I kind of go, whoa, 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 and then Florestan pronounces the same text absolutely perfectly because for him it's no problem. <laughs> so yeah, the, the very end duet, also because after singing the whole opera, that is when you are at your, the limit of, of really what your stamina. So that, you know, I need to make sure that that is really well sung in and that I have enough left in the bank for the end. Thank you.